Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing well. This week I wanted to talk about hair care products. I think I've only ever done like one or two other videos concerning hair. Uh, to be honest, I have the worst hair. Uh, like it's just flat. It doesn't really do anything. However, there are quite a few products out there that really, you know, help to give my hair a little bit of like life to it. And I wanted to share those products with you today. Therefore, anybody who has hair like I do or really struggles with doing anything with their hair at all like I do. Hopefully these products will give you some recommendations to try out that you end up really liking. So the first product that I'm going to share, I got in a FabFitFun box like maybe in the fall I think and it is the Perfect Repair Treatment Mask from Nature Lab and I absolutely love this mask. First of all it smells amazing. It says it has bamboo stem cell technology in it. I really can't describe what it smells like. This smells really good. Maybe like cucumber or like not citrusy but like I don't know cucumber maybe but um anyway so I use this after I wash my hair and I leave it in for like three to five minutes and it just makes my hair feel so like soft and smooth afterwards and it makes it look really shiny and I just really like this um I use it maybe once a week or once every other week and this is just really great so this next product was also from my FabFitFun box I believe this was the winter FabFitFun box and it's another hair mask it is the Rhythm of Rain hair mask and scalp detox from um, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Vor, Vow, Vway. I don't know. This is the company right there. But anyway, I really like this hair mask as well. If I'm not using the other hair mask, I'll sometimes switch back and forth um, every week and I'll use this. Again, I leave this in my hair for like three to five minutes and it just makes my hair feel really nice afterwards. I also struggle with like dry skin. So I try to prevent any like dry scalp by using this and it really works. So I really like this as well. Next, again, I got this product in a FabFitFun box, maybe in the summer. Fab the fun ends up having like a lot of really good products that I end up loving inside. So this one is the AG Hair Care Fast Food Leave-On Conditioner and it helps with dry hair. So I really like this. It calms any frizziness or like if you have really thick hair that may be really frizzy, this will help with that. But I like this because it makes my hair look shiny and just healthy and I do have a little bit of frizz here and there so this helps with that as well. I don't use this very often but when I do it is very noticeable my hair that I use it so I really like this as well. So next is this little tool that I got from Amazon and it is like kind of like a scalp massager. I use it when I uh, clean my hair or wash my hair with shampoo so you just you know massage your scalp with it. It's kind of like a little brush or like a little comb but I really like it. It feels really good actually and it helps to get like the shampoo to like into your scalp because sometimes when you wash your hair and just put shampoo on your hair it doesn't reach your scalp especially if it's a shampoo that you know you need to reach your scalp like if you have any dry scalp problems or anything like that if your shampoo isn't really getting into your you know the roots of your hair then it's not really doing what you need it to do so this really helps with that and it was only a couple dollars on Amazon it's silicone so it, you don't have to worry about any like plastic hurting your head and I really like this by the way I will make sure to link all of these products um, in the blog post that I will leave in the description below so if you are interested in any of these products make sure you check out that blog post because it will have all the links in there so next is this argan hair serum from pro fashion I don't even remember where I got this I honestly and you're gonna laugh I think I got this when I was at a home show and they actually had a booth there I tried it out and it looked really nice so I got it um, I came well I got it with like this curling iron wand thing I don't know but anyway, so I like this. It helps to um, reduce damage to your hair when you are drying it or ironing it or whatever it is that you're doing with it. And it smells really good. It doesn't leave your hair feeling like greasy and gross. Like, you know how sometimes like some products after you dry your hair, they still feel just nasty. This doesn't do that. It's really great, honestly. You can put it on damp or dry hair and it smells really good and just helps to protect your hair. So next, and I use this literally all the time. This is probably like my second or third bottle of this and I'm almost out of that so I'll have to order some more but it is the prep rally prime and prep tangler from dry bar when I am done in the shower I just spray a bit of this in my hair before you know combing it and drying it and it helps to detangle my hair and just really preps your hair for being blow-dried so you can spray it on just a, like a portion of your hair like your bangs
earrings or something like that or all of your hair and it works really well. So this next product is really good if you live in an environment that is typically very humid and you have like frizzy hair but this is the Dream Coat Supernatural Spray from Color Wow. You can see here, my fingerprints are all over this bottle, so forgive me. But anyway, so I actually got the scent this by Color Wow um, back in like the fall or something like that. I really like this. It helps with frizz and it helps if like it's humid outside. Now granted, I haven't had a chance to use it just yet when it's humid outside, but so far it has helped with frizz. So I have high expectations and high hopes for when it does get humid out there that I can use this and it will help as well. Color Wow and this product in particular is actually used by um, celebrity hairstylist Chris Appleton. He does um, some Kardashians hair, so like I know their hair is always looking perfect. So I really trust this brand, honestly, and this product really just exceeded my expectations when it came to frizz and I tried it out for the first time, so I really like this. So these next two products are for if you are looking for some budget-friendly um, products. And first is the Not Your Mother, She's a Tease Volumizing Hairspray. I know a lot of people will recommend like really expensive expensive hairspray and they'll say like this is great and I mean there are tons of hairsprays out there that have worked phenomenally for me but because I you know like to opt for a budget friendly version once in a while I go for the not your mother's she's a tease volumizing hairspray I think it is great I like that it does in fact give you volume and it does give you a nice hold but it doesn't leave your hair feeling crunchy which is a big issue of mine that's like a pet peeve is when I put hairspray in and my hair feels crunchy I hate that and luckily Luckily, this does not do that so I really like this and like I said it's very budget friendly so highly recommend. And the next budget friendly product is also from Not Your Mother's and it is the Not Your Mother's Pump for Joy Bodybuilding Dry Shampoo. This is in orange mango. I guess it's just the scent. It does smell pretty good to be honest with you. But anyway, so I really like this dry shampoo. Um, again, I a pet peeve of mine when it comes to dry shampoos is um, dry shampoos that leave like white residue on your hair. Even being a blonde, like seeing the white in my hair, I'm just like, you know, I would have just put regular powder in there if I wanted white all over my hair. This is really great. Another pet peeve of mine when it comes to dry shampoo is that it leaves like a thick, like residue cakey, like powder it on your scalp and then it looks like dandruff and I really don't like that. This doesn't do that so I'm really glad and like I said it's budget friendly. And the last product which if you're going to get anything out of what I showed you today I highly recommend this. I know it has been such a trend this past year and you know so many people have gotten something similar but it is this bedhead um, blow dryer. So it is like the brush blow dryer. Here's the cord here. I know a lot of people are going for that Revlon uh, brush dryer and I haven't tried that one personally so I can't really give you an opinion on that one but I really 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 love this now back in the day I did have a brush dryer and to be honest with you I really didn't like it and like just you know gave my hair split ends and just pulled my hair and I really didn't like it but the prongs on this brush are a lot different so I really like this one it doesn't pull my hair it doesn't like give me split ends or anything like that and it has different heat settings so you can do cool low or high and honestly, this makes my hair look so much more volumized and just soft and just looks so nice after drying it with this. I will say, and I'm sure that hairstylists will agree with me here because I have seen some recommending this or you know giving some advice to people, but if you're gonna dry your hair with this, I wouldn't just go in with this if your hair is soaking wet. I would make sure that your hair is like 95% dry before using this, which is what I do. I let my hair air dry until it's like 95% dry. And then I use this, I just clip up half my hair and we'll do the bottoms of my hair and then do the top layer of my hair. And it looks so nice. I mean, granted, this is like a couple day old hair right now, so it's not looking too great. But when you are like freshly done with this and your hair is super fresh, then it looks so nice. And I just love this. Also, this is actually pretty affordable. I think last I checked it was between $30 and $40 so you're not going to be spending hundreds of dollars on this so this is really awesome and like I said I will link it in the blog post that I leave in the description. So that'll do it for today's video. All these products I showed you today like I said I will leave links in the blog post. Um, they are all products that I've been using for quite some time with the exception of the Color Well product that I still want to try in humid weather. Everything else I've been using for a very very long time and I absolutely love all of them. 
Um, I've gotten refills of a lot of them and I just think they're super great products. And if you have any questions about them, let me know. I would do my best to answer them for you. And if you have any products that you recommend, I want to hear them. So leave comments and let me know what products you recommend. And if you like today's video, make sure you hit the red button down below, subscribe to my channel, click the bell next to it to be notified whenever I post, and make sure you follow me on social media at Bree Cutter. And until next time, see you guys.